Bro, listen. Never in my life associated the word boring with baseball. We know, we know what's up. Me? Yeah. Famous? Yeah. And I'm like giddy over there smiling like, holy, I mean, we're about to win this shit. Did everyone give you crap? Give me a good like host story. You know, I'm like, I'm not picking it up. No, we both love the game. We, we talk about it every day. Can't get off baseball. Having some popcorn, you're fooling around your phone. I'd have to weigh a mine for three hours. Like, but hang on, because it's about to be a wild ride. Third baseman, Cape Cod Baseball League legend. Cam, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time during this very busy week. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. So let's just jump right in. What has this week been like for you? Um, it's been kind of slow. <laughs> like as as you can tell, you know what's on my mind. So it's it's been very slow, slower than I thought it would be, but like I was talking to you before, I gotta enjoy these moments with my family and, and close friends. What are you doing to kind of like spend that time and enjoy those moments? So with family, I'm just hanging out at their house, going to the beach. Um, yeah, things like that. Just driving around the city just because. Where are you located again? West Palm Beach. Oh, that's a nice area to be yeah. in. Right now, right? Yeah, it's, it's really nice for sure. The beaches are awesome. So that's that's why I love coming back home. Getting your nice tan, getting a nice tan going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually more tan than, than I came here as. Oh, nice. I see a little bit of the lines. There we go. Um, <laughs> what has the draft process been like for you throughout the season? Well, it's been pretty chill. I haven't really, like, I didn't really get calls or, or many texts throughout the season. They kind of let me do my thing. Um, obviously, I'm talking about the scouts and, and the teams. They kind of just let me do my thing and, and left me alone. So they did a good job with that. And then. Um, after the season ended, I had a few calls, uh, a few Zoom interviews and stuff like that. But overall, it's been very chill, so not much pressure on me throughout the season. And, I mean, now's the time to enjoy myself and, and soak it all in. Did you ever feel like a pressure, like they were kind of watching you? Would you ever get like a text on your phone after a game and be like, oh, great, tr great um, double right there? <laughs> I actually love getting those texts. Like. I, I love playing in, in front of a lot of people and especially scouts too. Like I, it's my time to get to show off and, and show what I can do. So I love that part of it because you get kind of a little bit of butterflies before the games because you know they're watching, but it's like, a, it's a good feeling, something you crave. What are some of your earliest draft memories? As like from high school or- like, However early you want to go. Or like, like growing up watching it or something. Let's go both. <clears throat> um, so growing up watching it, I didn't, I didn't really pay pay close attention just because I didn't really know the players. But uh, like I always loved watching the first round. Like every, I always w went on YouTube and watched the first round picks and like saw their reaction, the, the, like the ha them having a party and stuff like that. And I was like, man, that's my dream. I want to do the same exact thing. Um, so that's always kind of been on my mind. And um, in high school, I, I kind of had a small gathering. I didn't really expect to go first round, like maybe maybe like late first day but or, or early second day. But um, I didn't get the chance to. And I like it wasn't a big party I had. So it wasn't like I let everybody down. It was kind of just like close friends and, and family. But um, I mean, just to see that everything happens for a reason. And, and now I'm in, the, in this spot now, it's pretty awesome so i'm definitely gonna have a huge party and and the cameras are gonna be rolling so oh my god that sounds how excited are you for that <clears throat> yeah it's, it's actually uh it's nerve-wracking for me a little bit <clears throat> just because like i know i know it's at stake and like i know it's gonna go right but like you just get those nerves for some reason and like i can't wait i really can't wait I know we talked at the College World Series about you doing the draft at home and like you wanted that party in that family environment. Yeah. Was that the sole reason why you wanted to do it at home was to have people all around you? Yeah, for sure. That That's the main reason why I wanted to be at home. So everybody I know could be at my house when, when, I, when my name gets picked. What's the total head count as of right now? How many people are we looking at? <clears throat> I think it's close to like 60 right now close to 60 in, in, a, in a little living room. So it's going to be cool. 
what's that whole day gonna be like for you from the moment you wake up to the moment the cameras are rolling and <laughs> the draft starts i think i think i'm gonna wake up early um and go see the sunrise at, at palm beach the one of our nicest beaches here and just just because um you know you don't really get that opportunity a lot of times to go watch the sunrise especially at a beach like ours so i'm gonna wake up early probably 5 30 get dressed head to the beach watch the sunrise just like like i was talking to you before i love nature that's kind of what i do off the field so um there's no more peaceful there's like there's no more i don't know how to say it but like it's so peaceful going to the beach and watching the sunrise by yourself like just it's so calm so i'm definitely going to do that um come back home eat breakfast and i don't know wait for people to show up and then it's it's game time how often have you thought about maybe this week or maybe this month or maybe this whole season how often have you thought about hearing in the 2024 mlb draft blank team selects cam smith yeah i i've thought about it a little too much <laughs> <laughs> um but i mean that, that's what we all work for that's what all these guys work for and um you know, I actually have the privilege of, of having that thought in my head. So um, I'm, I'm definitely blessed and, and um, it's going to be surreal. And I'm going to make sure the cameras are rolling when my name is called, just so I can always have that video just to look back at and, and be grateful for where I'm at. Who's getting that first hug? Definitely my mom. <laughs> definitely my mom. How excited, how excited is she for all of this? She's very excited. She's playing it cool, but I know I know she's very excited. Deep down, right? Deep down, yeah, I know. I know she is. I don't want to get too into it, and I don't want to get you in trouble, but can you say, like, what teams you've been talking to and what teams you've worked out for? Yeah, I've been talking to, um, like, the teams that are, like, right in the middle of the of the draft board, like 10 to 15 or, or 10 to 16. Um, those are, like, the teams I've been talking to um, ever since my season ended, so... It looks like that's that's where I'll end up. So that, that's pretty cool. It's probably nice to have a, that idea of, okay, I know in the range I'm going. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It and is, it is little, pretty awesome. And maybe like a little surprise. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Don't want, caught, don't want to catch you off guard. But <laughs> when you get to stop and think for a moment and soak it all in, do you ever think back to little Cam Smith and – what he'd be thinking about the position you're in. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, shoot. <laughs> it's, uh, I like I'm at a loss for words or for, for where I came from and, and where I'm at now. Um, I would I would think I was crazy if I, if, if I were to tell my younger self now that I'm in this position, just because I didn't really have all the accessible stuff that these young kids did at, at a young age. Um, growing up with a single mother and things like that. So I didn't really have all the, the tools and the hitting coaches and uh, all the all the, all the the stuff to, like, develop as a player. I didn't really have that. It was just kind of me, and, and I got better at practice, and that was it. So um, to see where I'm at now, it's, it's like, an awesome moment for <clears> – <throat> I'm sorry <clears> – <throat> for my mom and I. Um, and yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get emotional, <laughs> but I'll just stop right there. What's the first thing you're gonna do with your mom once the dust settles? Um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a good cry with her, just me and her alone. And uh, you know, whatever she needs, I'm I'm gonna provide that for her because I mean, she deserves everything in the world and and then some. So. Anything I can do to help, um, you know, for sure, that's the first person I'm going to I'm going to treat. Well, Cam, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. So excited to see where you end up. And I thank cannot you. wait to see what team is lucky enough to end up with you as a player and as a person. Thank you. I appreciate you.